welcome to Bell's Sewing Studio. Today I will show you how to do the pants pattern. Your AB is going to be a quarter of your hip measurement plus the fork point plus three centimeters. Similarly the CD. Your AC and BD is the length of the pants plus the hemline in there. Now we're going to put in the hip line and the crotch line. Those are taken from the waist. So here is your waist. The hip line is normally 18 centimeters or 20 centimeters down from the waist. Your crotch line varies with your height. After both lines are put in, we are going to do the four point area. And the four point goes in from A. On the board, we have the back four points, one eighth of the hip measurement. And we're going to add 1.5. So this area here to this area here is your four point. Now, when you get that four point measurement, you put the G line in. To shape the crotch of the pants, we're going to come on one and a half here, come one and a half here, and then you curve. You curve according to the shape of the person. Sometimes we have to go a little wider at this point. Then we measure for the waist, and we shape from the waist, taking it from G, quarter of the waist, plus the dark, plus the side C. When you get that, you shape down to the hip. And then we lower the side because the back, center back is high on the side. We lower this one and a half centimeter. The length of your pants plus one will stop here. One centimeter will stop here. You will find halfway between C and D. This is this point. And for the small leg, you will go 10 centimeters over here and 10 centimeters over here. So when you find the center, you measure from the center out like that. For the back, we use 20, so that's 10 on that side and 10 on this side. Now after that is done, this is going to be the hem. You have to make sure you cut the hem slightly out so you can match back with there. When it turns up, it will match it there. So this will give you the back of the pants. Now for the waist, you put your dart in, and it's nine centimeters if your waist is below 36. From the center, 10 centimeters for those who are bigger. Just like your skirt, and the dart is going to be 13 centimeters long. So that gives you the back of the pants. Now over here, I have the drawing for the front of the pants. And the, the information for your AB is similar, except that you're using the front four points. So the front four points is one sixteenth, while the back is one eighth, okay? So we do the hip line and the crotch line again. So the hip line is here. And the crush line is here. Now, I should have told you at the back that you should add three centimeters when you're putting in these lines. So it's your hip line plus three centimeters at the back. It's your crush line plus three centimeters at the back. And at the front now, is your hip line plus 1.5 centimeter and your crotch line just 1.5 centimeter. The information with the addition is to be able to put on your waistband and to give it a rise at the back. Okay? So after we do that, we will do the same at the back where we put in line G, which is going to give you your four point area. So that will be the 1 16th of your hip plus one and a half. Okay, so we do this line again, G, and from that line, we're gonna come this way, in that direction, 
that direction, five centimeters. Five cm. Now, that five cm is for the fly where the zipper will go. I like to put the fly onto the front of the pants because it's less bulky. Right? Now, this point here is going to be the 2.5 cm below the hip line. Hip line. Alright, so you're going to come in and then come out. You're going to come out there. So this gives you the front four points. Alright, you slightly bend your curve to there. Then we do quarter of the waist from G plus the dart plus the side seam allowance. And we get our point here. So that's now at this point. We will shape from there to the hip line. Now at the waist, at the back we went up 1.5, at the front we're going to come down 1.5. So it comes from the side, comes towards the center 1.5. That takes us down to the hem line. It is similar where we find halfway between the CD and market there. And on either side, we go 18 and 18 centimeters. All right, so we measure from the center out. Watch your arrow. The center goes out, center goes out. That direction, 18 centimeters. So that gives the front front leg hemline. This is the hemline. And you can vary this depending on why you want the ankle measurement to be. Now after that is done, you put your meter stick and you join your hip to the 18 there. And you do the same thing here to the 18. Right? So you join the hip and then four point there into the 18 hip. Four point. Again, you cut slightly out, so when you turn the hem up, it will fit here. Right? So you have the design for your pants front. Alright? Remember to the four point, you must add your seam allowance. So for the four point, for the four point, you are to add 1.5 cm. Okay, that's your seam allowance. And that's on both the back and the front. So let's say the back four point was 10 centimeters. 10 cm. You would have 10 cm plus 1.5. So we're going to measure 11.5 cm. And remember, the measurement goes in that direction. All right? So for the fourth point, you have to add 1.5 as seam allowance. And that's the example there. And remember, at this point here, this point is 1.5 cm from G, from your G line. And that is used as your seam allowance because we use the measurement from your skirt to make your pants, but pants is normally fitted, more fitted. So once we come out, this 1.5 here, we use it as a seam allowance to stitch this in. Okay, so let's quickly go over both diagrams. Your AB and your CD is your quartic measurement plus the four point plus the seam allowance. Now remember this three, 1.5 is used here and 1.5 is used over here. So that's how we get the three. And then your AC and BD is the 
edge of the pants as long as you like it. All right? After you get your rectangle, whether it's for the front or the back, we put in the hip line and the crush line. Remember, for the back, when we do the crush and hip line, we add three centimeters. So when you come down from B for the hip line, you add three. When you come down from B for the crush, we add three centimeters. The three centimeters there is to give us the shape here and to give us the seam allowance to put the band on. Okay, so you make sure to remember that. Then to get your, your ankle measurement or wherever you want the length of the pants, you find the center of CD and go on either side of the center depending on the size you want. I find 10 centimeters will give you um, a nice fit. After that point is made, you're going to join from the hip to there and from the fourth point to there. Then, this is a hem. Remember, you have to turn the hem up. So here and here must be the same distance. So right here must be like that. So that's why I put that like angle there. So the dart position is like your skirt. Your waist below 76 will go 9 to the center point. Above 76 will go 10 to the center point. The length for the back is 13 and the length for the front is 9. 12 centimeters on either side and you complete your dart. Okay, now for the front, your hip line and your crush line you add only 1.5, 1.5, because you're just in your seam allowance. If you notice here, we go down at the front, whereas we go up at the back. G is the same thing. You find your G line by using your four point with your one and a half to it. Then we put the fly on, and the fly is used to put the zipper in place. So below the hip line, we go down 2.5 to get this curve. And from G line, we go on 5 to get the size of the flat. And you come down to the curve, and you come out to the fourth point. Okay? You measure from G for your quarter waist, plus your dart allowance, plus your side seam allowance. And that's going to give you your point here to shape the side to the hip. Then we get now the center between C and D, which is here, and on either side we go 18. Again, it depends on what size you want at the, at the hemline. When you get this point, you join to the hip line. There. This one is joined to the four point area here. And remember, we cut like this because here at the end of here. All right, so that's the information for cutting of your pants. Thank you for watching. We will now do it on the fabric.